Welcome guys to my new video. Today we need to start learning all about loops in C++. Here we need to learn what is a loop and why we use the loop. And we need to talk about the for loop, while and do while loop. So like my video, subscribe to my channel and let's start our video. What is a loop in C++? Loops can execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is re uh, reached. Loops are handy because they, uh, they save time, reduce error, and they, can, uh, they make code more readable. For example, if I need to print an expression uh, 10 times, uh, that take a time. By when I need to use loop, I run the expression one time and the loop repeat the expression 10 times. That can be uh, the code more readable and save the time. In loop, the statement needs to be uh, written only once and the loop will be executed n times. In computer programming, a loop is a sequence of instructions uh, that is repeated until a certain condition is reached. That we need to use uh, to show this and for and while and while. Now the types of loop. We have two types of loop. The entry co uh, controlled loops. In this type of loop, the test condition is tested before uh, entered, entered the loop uh, body. For example, we have the for loop and the while loop is an entry controlled loops. But the exit controlled loops, in this type of loop, the test condition is tested or evaluated at the end of the loop body, like the do while loop. We need to show this uh, now in this video and later in the exercise. Now, let's start with the for loop in C++. For loop is an entry controlled loop that is used to execute a block of code repeatedly uh, for the specified range of values. Basically, for loop allows you to repeat a set of instructions for a specific number of iterations. For example, this is the syntax of the for loop. We start with for, initialization, test condition, and updating. The initialization, for example, I need to use, for example, i, it's an integer i, equal, for example, to zero. Test condition, it's a condition, like the if statement. For example, a uh, greater than b, or a less than b. This is the test condition. And updation, uh, we, we talk about the increment and decrement operator. And finally, the body of the loop. This is the syntax of the for loop in C++. The values uh, part of the for loop are initialization expression in the for loop. We have to initialize the loop variable to some value in this expression. Two, test condition in for loop. In this expression, we have to test the condition if the condition evaluate to true then we will execute the body of the loop and go to the update expression. Otherwise, we will exit from for loop if the condition is false. Three, update expression in for loop. After executing the, for the loop body, this expression increments or decrements the loop variable by some values. Now let's see the flowchart of the for loop in C++ and how the for loop work. First of all, we need to start. We need to put the initialization expression and next step the test condition. The condition. If the condition is false, the program is stop. And if the condition is true, we need to go to the block of statement and later the update statement and we go to the test condition. Okay, step one, control falls into the loop, initialization is done, 
Two, the flow jump to condition. Three, condition is tested. If the condition true, the flow goes into the body, and if the condition is false, the flow goes outside of the loop. For the statement inside the body of the loop get executed, the flow goes to the update. Six, update updation takes place and the flow goes to step three again. Seven, the for loop has ended and the flow have gone outside. This is all about the for loop in C++ programming language. Now the while loop in C++. While loop in C++ is used to uh, is used in situations where we do not know the exact number of iterations of the loop beforehand the loop execution is terminated on the basic of the test condition. This is the syntax of the while loop. Syntax, while loop and test expressions, uh, the statement and the update expression. Like here, look how to work the, the while loop. First, we need to put while loop. Second, the condition. Three, if the condition is true, the body is executed. If the condition is false, uh, the program is ended. And if the, the condition is uh, true, it will be executed. We go to the updation, uh, the uh, step number five. Now let's see the various parts of the while loop in C++. Test expression. If the expression we have to test the condition, if the condition evaluates to true, then we will execute the body of the loop and go to update expression. Otherwise, we will exit from the while loop. Update expression. After executing the for loop, uh, the while loop body, this expression increments or decrements the loop variable by some values. Body, this is a group of statements that include the variables or function and so on. Uh, with the while loop, code and simple names can be printed, complex algorithms can be executed, or functional operations can be performed. How does a while loop execute? First, we need to put the while loop test condition if it's false the while loop ends if it's true we executed the loop body okay. and then the step one control falls into the while loop two the flow jumps to condition three condition is tested if the condition is true the flow goes to the body if it's false the flow goes outside the loop. Four, that statements inside the body of the loop get executed. Five, updation takes place. Six, control flows back to step two. And seven, the while loop has ended and the flow has gone outside. This is all about the while loop. We will see more in uh, the, uh, the last, uh, more in the next video so when I need to solve a uh, problems. Now, the do while loop in C++. The main difference between a do while loop and while loop is in the do while loop, the condition is tested at the end of the loop body. It means do while loop is an exit controlled with uh, various. The other two loops are entry controlled loops. In the do while loop, the loop body will execute at least once irrespective of the test condition. Let's this as the syntax. First, I write do, open the braces, I write the body, the update expression, and finally I write while with the condition. Like here, first do, and the body, patient and while loop. And this, and now we need to see how the do while loop work, but now I we need to, to see the various parts of the do while loop are. First, test expression. The expression uh, we have to test the condition. 
if the condition evaluates to true, then we will execute the body of the loop and go to the uh, update expression. Otherwise, we will exit from the while loop. Update expression. After executing the loop body, this expression increments or decrements the loop variable by some value. Body. It is the collection of the statement. It means the variables and functions. The condition is not satisfied until the condition is executed automatically after a successful iteration. The do I loop code can be used to print simple names, execute complex algorithms, or perform functional operations. Now let's see how the do while work. First, we need to write do, my loop start, the body, next, the condition. If the condition is false, the do while loop is end. And if it's true, we need to go to the body. One, control falls into the do while loop. Two, statement inside the body of the loop get executed. Three, updation takes place. Four, the flow jump to condition. If the condition is true, go to step six. The, uh, and if the condition is false, we need to go outside the loop. And finally, the do while loop has been ended and the flow has gone outside the loop. This is all about the loops in C++ programming language. If you like my video, Subscribe to my channel and if you have any question, contact me on Instagram and don't forget to, jo uh, to join our uh, WhatsApp and Telegram channel to get the PDF course. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.